أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا حبيبنا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا أما بعد My brothers and sisters, I'd like to begin by congratulating you on our Eid celebrations that uh, we did five days ago, four days ago on Monday, alhamdulillah May Allah grant us the best of Eid for the rest of our life Ameen Ya Rabbi and also want to congratulate you on your success, success of the month of Ramadan, that you've been able to fast the entire month of Ramadan, and you were able to thank Allah, connect with Him, get your sins forgiven, connect with your fellow human beings, and to find new focus, new directions, and new purpose for your day-to-day -day living. In the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal says, "Inna al-ladina qalu Rabbun Allah, Rabbun Allahu thumma istaqamu tatanazzal alayhim al-malaika tu Allah taqafu, wa la tahzanu, wa abshiru bil jannat al-lati kuntum tuadun." نحن أولياءكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة، ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم، ولكم فيها ما تدعون. نزلا من غفور رحيم، ومن أحسن قولا من من دعا إلى الله. وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وما يلقاها إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقاها إلا ذو حظ عظيم Very beautiful five verses I've recited from Surah Fussilat verses 40 to 45 Allah says Behold, as for those who say our sustainer is Allah and then steadfastly pursue the right way, upon them do angels often descend, saying, Fear not and grieve not, but receive the glad tiding of that paradise which has been promised to you. We are close unto you in this life of this world and we will remain close unto you in the life to come. And in that life to come, 
we shall have all, you shall have all that your souls may desire. And in it, you shall have all that you have ever prayed for. As a ready welcome from him who is much forgiving, a dispenser of grace. And who could be better of speech than he who calls his fellow human beings to Allah and does what is just and right and says verily, I am of those who have surrendered themselves to Allah. But since good and evil can never be the same, repel evil with something that is better. And lo, he between whom and yourself was enmity may then become as though he had always been a close friend unto you. Yet to achieve this is not given to any but those who are not want to be patient in adversity. It is not given to any but those who are in doubt with greatest good fortune. Brothers and sisters, these verses are apt for us post Ramadan. Allah says, surely those who say, Rabbun Allah, Allah is our Lord. Thumma istaqamu, and then stand upright. Stand firm in pursuit of that which is right. Tatanazzalu alayhimu al-malaika. Angels come unto them and say, Allah takhafu, don't be afraid. Wala tahzanu, don't be sad. Wa abshiru bil jannati lati kuntum tu'adun. We are here to give you the good news. Take the good news. Wa abshiru, take it. For you there is good news. What's the good news? Bil jannah, the heavens, lati kuntum tu'adun, that Allah had promised unto you. Entire month of Ramadan, my brothers and sisters, we had spent in pursuing Allah's pleasure with one ultimate end. And that is, when we pass away and face Allah on the Day of Judgment, Allah will say, O my Southern, for you, here is paradise. That's all we've been doing, all our fasting, all our ibadat, everything that we do in life for. To be able to achieve the ultimate success, success of paradise. And Allah is saying, those who say, Rabbun Allah, Allah is our Lord, and don't move away from this strong, strong path. Don't have any hesitation. Stay upright and firm. For them, Allah has given a good news, but that good news is being carried not by a messenger, not by the Prophet, not by any other human being, but Allah sends upon them, تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ Allah sends them angels. Allah sends them angels. Allah wants you and I to get the direct good news. Good news is what? وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُعَدُونَ Take the good news of paradise that Allah has been promising you. All your life, that's all you've been dreaming. Here it is. For this to happen, my brothers and sisters, we need to realize the true essence of Ramadan in our life, even when Ramadan is gone. So what did you gain from Ramadan? If I was to ask you this question very briefly, what would you say? What would have been your gain? You would have gained taqwa. You would have got yourself cleansed from your sins. You would have taken control of your food and your drinks. You would have regulated them well. You would have managed them well. You would have taken control of your eyes, your ears and your tongue. You would have used them better and appropriately. You would have learned how to manage your emotions. You would have learned how to manage your anger, your frustration, your sadness, your sorrow, and your joys and happiness. You'd have learned how to regulate your sleep, not become constantly driven by your desire to be lazy and be in bed, but you regulate your sleep. You'd have gained in the month of Ramadan the abilities to control your desire, your base human desire, your sexual urges, your wants, and all other desires that come with you as a human. You'd have learned in the month of Ramadan how to control them. You'd have, ma you'd have learned and mastered the art of moving away from pursuit of spiritual, uh, pursuit of material, and in pursuit of spirituality. You'd have moved away from material pursuit, and you'd have focused on spirituality. 
in the month of Ramadan. You'd have gained in the month of Ramadan mastery of your relationships, relationship with Allah and relationship with your fellow human being. You'd have learned in the month of Ramadan and refined and perfected your character. Can you see what you've learned in the month of Ramadan? Ten amazing achievements. Taqwa, wiping your records of sin, control of your food and drinks, control of your eyes, ears and tongue, control of your emotions, control of your sleep, control of your base desires, control of your material pursuit, control of your relationships, and refine character. Those who say, Rabbun Allah, and then, Thumma Staqam, they stand upright firmly in the path of Allah. This is what they do. They gain all this and more. If you have been able to gain all this and more in the month of Ramadan, it's time to evaluate right now. Are they still in my life even though Ramadan has gone? Have I forgotten the spirit of Ramadan and am I back to square one as I was before Ramadan? Or am I actually living the amazing benefits of the month of Ramadan? You know, those who say, Rabbun Allah, they don't just say Allah is our Lord because they want to say it with their mouth, but they believe in it in their hearts. They're convinced in their brain that Allah is their Lord. Allah is watching them all the time. Allah is present in their life all the time. Allah is aware of everything that we do all the time. Allah is in power. Allah is most powerful. Allah is the master. Allah is the creator, the Lord and the sustainer. Allah is the one we will be facing on the day of judgment. They just don't say it with their words, but they believe in it and they act accordingly. If you believe Allah is your Lord and you and I will be accountable on the day of judgment in front of Allah, shouldn't our behavior reflect this? Shouldn't our behavior reflect this? Some of us forget. Some of us forget. As soon as we leave the masjid, sometimes people even behave badly in the masjid. They even behave badly in the masjid. <laughs> it's not that long ago. I had a bad experience in the mosque, not very far away from here, when a brother got upset and started abusing me, shouting and screaming at me. I stood there, took his abuse for a long time. What was his problem? Allah knows the best. Maybe he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Maybe his wife told him off. Maybe he didn't have breakfast. Maybe he was just upset. Those who truly believe in Allah and say, Rabbun Allah, my Lord is Allah, and believe Allah is watching, they don't behave like this with anybody. They don't behave like this with anybody because they're afraid of Allah. They're not afraid of me. You shouldn't be afraid of me. I shouldn't be afraid of you. But I am mindful of Allah watching me 24 hours a day. That's called Rabbun Allah. Allah is my Lord, actively present in my life. You don't do things when the doors are shut. You don't do things when nobody's looking at you, things that are wrong and unethical. No, you don't because you said, Rabbun Allah, you've accepted Allah as my Lord. You've submitted to Allah as my Lord. You've accepted Allah as your sustainer. You've accepted Allah's law to govern your life. You have given up everything in life because you say Allah is my Lord. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي Lillahi Rabbil Alameen. Say, my prayer, my sacrifice, my life and my death are all for Allah. All for Allah. If you truly believe in Allah, you manifest that in your life, in everything that you do. From the way you parked your car before you came to this masjid, to the way you sit down in the masjid and you pray, to the way you listen to the Imam, even if you disagree, you don't shout in the middle of the khutbah just because you disagree. You keep your mouth shut because that's what Rasulullah said. If you truly believe in Allah and His Prophet, then you keep your mouth shut, even if you disagree with the Imam while he's giving the khutbah. The Prophet said, don't speak, even don't tell somebody else not to speak while the Imam is giving the khutbah. If you've got a disagreement, address it with, with him afterwards. You truly believe in Allah and His Prophet Muhammad, you would not leave your shoes lying outside on the streets or on the road or on the path inside the masjid so that people trip you will put it on the shoe shelves that are around even when there is no ushers no security guards telling you to do so when you if you truly believe in allah when you go and make wudu you will not leave the tap running and make a mess as if you had a shower 
Some people make wudu, and you leave and you go and see it. It's like they had a shower. Brother, you just made wudu. You're deluded. You're deluded if you're making wudu like that. You're deluded if you leave your shoes outside thinking it's okay. You're deluded if you park your car outside wrongly. You're deluded if you abuse other people because you think you are doing something for Allah. Allah doesn't want worship of those people who behave like this with other people. It is not called Rabbun Allah. Allah is my Lord. Behave like Allah wants you to behave. That's the teaching of the month of Ramadan. And then you demonstrate it. You stand firm in the truth. Believe in the truth. Practice the truth. Implement the truth in your life. Because you say, Allah says in the Quran, They stand firm to the truth. What is the truth? My brothers and sisters, what is Islam? What is Islam? I ask you this question. You think Islam is just five daily prayers? You think Islam is fasting in the month of Ramadan alone? These are the pillars of Islam. Allahu Akbar. It's like a house. House has got pillars. You can't say the pillars are the house. You can't say that. Ha pillars are not the house. House of Islam, Rasulullah said, ad din wal mu'amala. Religion is social interaction, your character, akhlaq, your mannerism, your behavior, the way you respond to the respond to the society, your responsibility towards other people. That is deen, that is religion of Allah. Pillars are important. Without the pillars, you won't have the house. So farm your pillar. Don't neglect them. Don't ever abandon them. But don't neglect the house because the house is what will manifest the presence of the pillar. You walk down the street, somebody has left five pillars sticking out of the earth for five years, ten years. You'd be the first one to complain to the council. This ugly thing, why is it sticking out for the last five years? If you want to build a house, build it, brother. If you want to truly build a house, if you want to be summa staqam, if you want to show that you are standing upright and firm, build Islam above the five pillars. The five pillars you do every day, of course you do. And you try your level best to continue in sustaining them. But your Islam must manifest itself like a house does in your behavior, in your akhlaq, in your amal, in everything that you do with other people. That's called summa staqam. If you can do that, tatanazzalu alal. Allah will send down the angels to you and me. What's the news? They will say, Subhanallah. When I read this, I want to cry. They will say to me, Allah takhafu. Allahu Akbar. Don't be afraid. You have nothing to fear, Ya Ajmal. Nothing to fear, Ya Muhammad. You have nothing to fear, Ya Fatima. You have nothing to fear, Ya Humanity. Oh, Muslims, nothing to fear. Allah takhafu. What is he talking about? What are the angels talking about? Fear of what? Tiger? Lions? No, no fear of the hereafter because Allah has straightened the path for you, opened up the doors for you because you have been wanting paradise. Allah has cleared the path for you to go to paradise. So, Allah takhaf. Don't ever fear. Wala tahzanu. And don't be sad. Don't be disheartened. Don't give up. Why? Wa abshuru. Take the good news. Bil Jannah. Of the good news of Jannah. Allati kuntum tu'adun. He has been promising to you all this time. All this time he has been promising to you. Take the good news. They will then say, Nahnu awliya'ukum fil hayati dunya wa fil akhirah. We will be your partners, your companions, your protectors, your guardians, your... However you want to translate the concept of awliya. We'll be close to you as friends in this life and the life to come. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ And for you, you shall have all that your soul had wanted all its life. Anything that you wanted on this earth. From Allah, Allah will make it available in paradise. And وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ And all your dua, Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, give me paradise. Here you go. Paradise is in front of you. The condition is, رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُ Remember this. The condition is Rabbun Allah Thumma Staqam. Say Allah is my Lord and manifest it by remaining virtuous and true to that very claim that you believe in Allah. All the good news is coming because you've just done the two most basic things in Islam. Believe in Allah, declare that Allah is your Lord and manifest Allah as your Lord in everything that you do. Nuzulam min ghafoor rahim is a ready welcome from Allah who is much forgiving and dispenser of grace. Allah has prepared this package, this hamper, this present, this gift for you, for paradise. Take it.
What's the condition? Rabbun Allah, thumma staqam. Say Allah is my Lord, thumma staqam, and be virtuous, upright, and straightforward. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا بِمَنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And who could be better in speech than he who calls his fellow human beings unto Allah and who, is, who does just and righteous works and say to people, verily I am amongst those إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ I am amongst those who have surrendered. So not only do you say Allah is my Lord and remain virtuous and truthful, but the manifestation of virtue and truthfulness is that you share this good news with other people. Who is better in speech than the one who invites other people to this amazing path. Path of paradise, path of virtue, path of compassion, path of fairness, path of justice, path of goodness. Full from day one until you die. You invite other people and you don't become selfish. You do good deeds. And then you say, I have surrendered to Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah make us those people who can surrender. May Allah make us those people who are the best of people. And may Allah make us those of amongst those people who say Allah is our Lord and remain steadfast and virtuous. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ولاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Time to finish my brothers and sisters The last verse ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإلى الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم Since good and evil can never be equal Good and evil are not equal We all know that It can never be equal Therefore, replace all the evil with something that is better. Idfa billati hi ahsan. Good and bad are not the same. Replace bad with that which is better. What is better? Good, of course. Ahsan, something better. You've done something wrong, do something good. You have wronged somebody, go and do something right for them. You have harmed somebody, go and do something that will win their heart. You've seen wrong in the society, replace the wrong with something good. It's a blueprint for change. Don't let the wrong proliferate in the world. Replace it with something that is better. You claim to have a better way of life, which is the Quranic life, but you're selfish because you don't want to share it with anybody. You go home, lock your door, you're too busy with your own families. What about your neighbors? You live in Ealing, you live in this area. What about your neighbors in Ealing? Do they know about Islam? Do they know about the virtues of Islam? Do they know anything about your deen? Do they know anything apart from seeing you coming to the mosque and going home? Do they know what it means to be a Muslim? Because Allah is saying, if you don't, you have not shared the goodness of your faith. You have not replaced the evil with something that is better. When you replace the evil with something that is better, you, even your enemies will become your friends. Allahu Akbar. Even your enemies will become your friends. Brothers and sisters, what an amazing way to change and remember the virtues of Ramadan. Continues even outside Ramadan. Ramadan is internally building your strength and capacity to be able to come outside and change the world. Ramadan is about, about uh, increasing your resilience to be able to face the world. Ramadan is about equipping your mind and your thoughts and your behavior, your akhlaq, your manners with those amazing, beautiful characteristics that will change the world. Ramadan is about becoming better internally, but outside Ramadan is about sharing the things that you've gained in the month of Ramadan. Otherwise, you might as well not have fasted the whole month. May Allah enable us so that we can share the goodness of our deen with everybody. Ya Rahman Rahimin, Ya Kamul Akramin, forgive us our sins, Ya Allah. Forgive us our sins, Ya Allah. Forgive us our shortcomings, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin, enable us so that we can replace evil with something better, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin, Ya Kamul Akramin, enable us so that we can replace that which is evil with something better, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin, Ya Kamul Akramin, we ask you to give the strength to be able to proudly and clearly declare that you are our Lord. Ya Rahman Rahimin, enable us to accept and surrender in your way, Ya Allah. Surrender to you, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin, Ya Akramul Akramin, enable us so that we can be good people, Ya Allah. We can have taqwa in our lives, Ya Allah. We can manifest taqwa in everything that we do, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin, protect our children, Ya Allah. Protect our children, Ya Allah. Protect our families, Ya Allah. Protect our neighborhood, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin, Ya Akramul Akramin, free Al-Aqsa, Ya Allah. Free Al-Aqsa, Ya Allah. Free Al-Aqsa, Ya Allah. 
Free Kashmir, Ya Allah. Free Kashmir, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin. Free Yemen from the war, Ya Allah. Free Yemen from the war, Ya Allah. Free Afghanistan from the troubles, Ya Allah. Free Pakistan from the troubles, Ya Allah. Free Syria from the tyrants, Ya Allah. Free Iraq from the fitna, Ya Allah. Free every part of the world that is in trouble, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin. Remove from this world poverty and troubles, Ya Allah. Remove from this world tyranny and troubles, Ya Allah. Free this world, Ya Rahman Rahimin, from despotism, Ya Allah. Restore on this earth peace and stability, Ya Allah. Restore on this earth peace and stability, Ya Allah. Restore on this earth peace and stability, Ya Allah. Ya Rahman Rahimin. Enable us so that we can be beneficial to the society, Ya Allah. Enable us so that we can be beneficial to the society, Ya Allah. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر البغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون فذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقم الصلاة please stand up and make the line straight yes yes إن شاء الله please make the line straight and fill up the front rows first leave no gaps and switch off your mobile phones Yes.